one of the other challenges also is the fact that only the client suggested that only 15% of their downstream supply chain partners uh, appear to be ready, uh, which is a big gap. And I, while I imagine that many of these are likely small and medium enterprises and therefore may not have the capacity and capability uh, to, to bring this together. Um, do you believe that uh, there's a role that uh, the company has in, in trying to bring the, the entire supply chain of their vendors and partners up the curve and, and getting them closer to a you know, sustainable business model? Absolutely. And this is typically procurement led. Um, and we're working with a number of uh, the world's largest multinationals on doing exactly this, on helping them to engage across their supply chain. Um, and, and not approaching it from a punitive perspective. Um, absolutely, uh, our uh, big uh, uh, clients need to make it clear to their supply chains that they're requiring disclosure across those same non-financial uh, metrics um, that they're required to disclose against. Um, but, uh, and, and, uh, and putting in place uh, uh, regimes to ensure that that's uh, contractually required and, and, and being clear about that, but then supporting their supply chains uh, to put in place their data systems, um, helping them to understand what are the disclosure rules that they might not have the capacity um, to do uh, or to respond to. Many uh, uh, mid-cap and, and smaller organisations don't have a sustainability uh, um, capability in-house. Um, so I, I suppose it's, it's, there's a, a, a uh, a, a joint strategy of being very, very clear um, and that these are mandatory and this isn't going away, but then being generous and supportive and helping to build capacity and align systems to make it as easy as possible.